So what's up everybody? So even though this video is going to be geared uh, more towards my YouTube channel because it's a little longer, I also thought I would share here on TikTok some of my experiences, good and bad, in owning a 2021 Harley Davidson Pan America. Which by the way, this is a motorcycle that I no longer own. It was one of the most um, exhilarating purchases that I've had uh, as far as motorcycles and the most bittersweet trades I had to go through. Uh, so I'll start with the good. Uh, you know, I, I fell in love with the bike. I love the looks of the bike. You know, the new technology, you know, 150 horsepower engine, Rev Max, liquid cooled, uh, super lightweight motorcycle uh, for being a Harley. Uh, test rode it, felt like it was, the handle just like a sport bike. You know, I don't know anything about ADV bikes, but apparently these are bikes that are supposed to handle really well um, on the road. And it did. Uh, so I was, I was sold uh, on it. I actually got rid of my naked bike thinking that I wasn't going to need it anymore. And for a couple of months, you know, it was a very, very good experience getting to know the motorcycle and uh, its capabilities. As I was getting more involved with the bike and getting involved with uh, some of the blogs and, and, and actually Facebook groups about the Pan America, I started realizing that some of the problems, the little problems I was having with it, with the bike, was they were very common. You know, uh, the ignition whistle, you know, that uh, also uh, I heard that the Sportster S also has the same problem because it has the uh, same engine. Even though it's tuned differently, it's the same same engine, you know. But it's uh, you know when you crank the engine, there's a whistle to to the crank um, sound, and the bike sometimes doesn't start. It goes wee wee wee, you know, like it's the battery. There's a low voltage or something. So it's something that apparently is um, needs to be addressed with these um, uh, motorcycles, but uh, they're not there yet, you know, as far as fixing it. Uh, Secondly was the computer uh, display. Sometimes it would just shut off. The screen will go completely black uh, while riding. Sometimes you turn on, turn on the bike and the, the screen would not turn on. Sometimes I would get stuck on a riding mode and I didn't have the ability to switch from one riding mode to another. So it became very problematic until we got to a point that I took it back they did some upgrades to, to the computer and, and a couple of recalls. Uh, the bike was okay for a while and then one day the bike wouldn't start. So I really felt that it needed a battery. So I took it to the dealership. They kept the bike, said it's one of the warranty, so they were gonna replace it. Got a call two days later saying that uh, one of the gaskets um, inside of the engine was cracked and it needed to be replaced. So he needed to place an order for that. It turned out to be a week later that it, was, it wasn't only that, it was uh, several more recalls. And I found out that there were more than six Pan Americas that had an actual, they call it a bulletin of things that needed to do, do to the motorcycles. Very disappointed, two and a half uh, weeks and, uh, but they assured me that the bike was gonna be taken care of and it was gonna be a joy to ride. At that point, six months later, I lost complete, uh, complete uh, trust on the motorcycle. I didn't think that I could uh, go 150 miles out and think that the bike was gonna actually turn on to take me back home. It was, it, it was a very unpredictable bike. I noticed there was a lot of uh, Pan America owners dealing with very similar issues and folks actually trade, trading their bike because they were just sick and tired of dealing with recalls and problems on and off on the brand new bike. Uh, and even though that there's a lot of people that are happy with the bike, I know folks putting 20, 30,000 miles on these bikes already, uh, I wasn't the lucky one. And I just, felt that it was in my best interest to move on from this uh, motorcycle and um, forget all about it. Uh, so I, I did trade the bike for another naked bike, which I'm gonna post a video eventually, and it's not a Harley. And I just thought that 
I couldn't see myself riding a motorcycle that was, to me, completely unreliable. I, I call it the closest thing to a lemon. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, why don't you just file a complaint with Harley? Well, Harley wasn't fighting me on it. Harley was taking the bike back and doing whatever it took to get it fixed. But I had a feeling with my local dealership and other dealerships that it was one thing with the sales department. You know, they, they, they talk up the bike a lot, but when you get to the service department, there's a passive aggressive approach about this motorcycle. They don't really want to tell you how they feel about it, maybe because they don't like how the bike looks and the new technology, or they actually know that this is a very problematic uh, motorcycle because of the engine and the new technology, and they haven't been able to figure out what to do with this bike to make it reliable. So at that point, when I felt that Harley didn't have um, a really good grasp of what's going on, they were going around in circles with me a lot, I said, screw this. Um, I had nothing but great experiences with Harleys. I know there's gonna be Harley, uh, and non-Harley folks here, they're gonna say, oh, Harley suck, this and that. Well, your, your comment about Harley, that Harley suck is not gonna compliment or help anybody with, with, uh, with the stupid comments of they suck, they're, they're not reliable and so on. I do have a 21 Road Glide that is a gem. Uh, before that I had a, a Street Glide and I had a Soft Tail and a Dyna. And these bikes gave me nothing but joy. I mean, my Road Glide is knock on wood, bulletproof at this point. So I'm extremely happy with, with Harley Davidson and what they've done with their air-cooled air engine. This here to me at this point is a fail. Um, I know it's not everyone. I know there are folks that are extremely happy with it, but I really felt it was in my best interest to share my experiences, um, you know, with a motorcycle that wasn't a success. And it was, once again, like I said before, it was very bittersweet to get rid of it because when the bike ran well, it ran like a champ. It was a super bike, but when it didn't, um, it felt like it was a limit. So I parted ways with it, I moved on. Uh, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to uh, make a comment below, ask me any questions, uh, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to help anybody that's interested in buying the spikes. I don't wanna discourage anybody, but at the same time, I am not gonna not speak out about it because you know, oh, it's a Harley, I don't want people to put down the brand or anything like that. I, that's not what, what I'm about. I'm about bikes, I'm not about brands. And this one, to me, unfortunately, it was a huge loss of money and an F in my book. All right, anyways, toward the ground, be safe out there.